Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. When it comes to the most beautiful places, New Zealand stands as a top contender. With crashing waterfalls, beautiful beaches, emerald lakes, and the bustling cities. Now, we can't fit everything on this list, but let's take a look at just 10 beautiful places to visit in New Zealand. Number one, Aoraki Mount Cook National Park. In the heart of the Southern Alps, New Zealand's highest peaks rise above the alpine landscapes of Aoraki National Park, also called Mount Cook National Park. More than 40% of the park is covered in glaciers, and the country's tallest mountain, Aoraki Mount Cook, and longest glacier, Tasman Glacier, lie within its borders, making this a top destination for mountaineering. Nature lovers will appreciate the diversity of flora and fauna, with more than 300 species of alpine plants and 40 species of birds. Now mountaineers around the world regard the area to be the best climbing region in Australasia, while the less skilled adventurers will find plenty of satisfaction within mountain walks. This unique landscape makes Aoraki Mount Cook National Park the heart of mountaineering in New Zealand. Number 2. Castle Point A two and a half hour drive northeast of the capital Wellington brings you to Castle Point, a serene beach town on the Wairarapa coast. With its fossil rich limestone reef, the lighthouse, and magnificent 162 metre high castle rock, Castle Point is one of the most spectacular sites along the Wairarapa coastline. The area was named in 1770 by Captain Cook who observed that Castle Rock resembled the battlements of a castle. The reef, lagoon, sand dunes and Castle Rock are all part of the Castle Point Scenic Reserve. You may even find fur seals and various dolphins that commonly visit the area, or even small whales which are less common, but some do make an appearance. An interesting fact about Castle Point is that it's the only place in the world where you will find a particular type of daisy. Fjordland National Park a World Heritage Site and one of the most dramatic and beautiful parts of New Zealand. The power of fjordland scenery never fails to enthrall travellers. It protects some of the most spectacular scenery in the country. Often described as the eighth wonder of the world, Milford Sound is always spectacular. and at 420 metres, Doubtful Sound is the deepest of New Zealand's fjords. A haven for nature, with resident bottlenose dolphins, fur seals and penguins. Here you can explore the gushing cascades, the offshore islands, virgin rainforests and vast lakes, and of course the craggy mountain peaks. Spanning mountain ranges, dense forests and alpine lakes, it's hard to imagine a better place suited to anyone who enjoys nature and to explore. Number 
for Wellington. Tucked between the bewitching Wellington Harbour and the numerous hills on which the city lies, Wellington is the cool capital of New Zealand. It's a melting pot of culture, cuisines, nature and action-packed adventure. Located to the south of the North Island, it's a friendly capital served with a generous waterfront and a laid-back population. You can relax at Oriental Bay, Wellington's golden sand in the city beach, and dive deep into the many museums, art galleries and theatre shows that make up the city's pulsating cultural scene. But of course, if you're into the outdoors, Wellington has action-packed adventure activities like mountain biking, seawater kayaking, as well as the beautiful walks around the harbour and the surrounding hills. So it has everything for everyone. Number 5. Bay of Islands A 35 minute flight or 3 hour drive north of Auckland will get you to the Bay of Islands. More than 144 islands dot the Glycerin Bay. Beautiful beaches, pristine islands, energetic marine life, waterfalls, forests, and a lot of history. Yes, the Bay of Islands is as dreamy as its name. You're really sport for choice here when it comes to things to do. The Bay of Islands is a small and stunning district of New Zealand's northern region. On the coast you have the main hub of Pahia and Waitangi, where you can find the most of the water-based activities of the area. Across the water, from Pahia, is Russell, New Zealand's first capital which is steeped in history. So overall there are tons of natural features, historical sites and great food experiences for you all to enjoy. Number 6. The Coromandel Peninsula One of the most beautiful places in New Zealand, attracting tons of visitors every year as a top vacation destination. Its celebrated unspoilt beaches and pristine forests complete its attractive profile, and only an hour's drive from Auckland Airport. The Coromandel is everything that a big city isn't, with a mountainous interior cloaked in native rainforests and more than 400 kilometres of dazzling white sand beaches. It's rustic, unspoiled and relaxed. The activities and attractions are plentiful, from fishing and diving to hiking or cycling. A New Zealand summer on the Coromandel Peninsula, especially on Cathedral Cove, sets a picture-perfect scene. But it's much more than that, because of the soul of this place, which reaches back to a time known only in the stories. Each part of the cove is full of meaning, and history for its Maori locals. Number 7. Hobbiton Now Hobbiton quickly comes to mind when one thinks of New Zealand. And that's because it's one of the most photographed areas thanks to the legendary success of the Lord of the Rings movies. 
Hobbiton is located on a farm six miles southwest of Matamata on the North Island. You'll be able to wander the perfectly manicured paths of Bagshot Row, and with the guided tour, they can show you the intricate details and pointing out the most famous locations and explaining how the film was made. A tour roughly costs between $80 to $85 for an adult and half of that for a child. Next up is Piha Beach, Auckland. It's a dramatic beach which is marked at each end by rugged cliffs and a very popular surfing location. The water is strong and is often dangerous. Situated on the west coast of the North Island and just 40 kilometers from the city of Auckland. This black iron sand beach has a reputation for some amazing surf, which rolls over in the Tasman Sea. So this is a great location for you to take surfing lessons or to try abseiling down the Piha Canyon. Plenty of beautiful waterfalls, or you could just relax on the black sand beach and take in the breathtaking views. Number 9. Rotorua So if you were to only visit one site in New Zealand, I would recommend Rotorua. Situated right on the North Island at about 140 miles southeast of Auckland, Rotorua is known for its geothermal activity. It's also very popular for its promotion of Maori culture. The sights here are simply out of this world, with steam impressively rising from the geysers dotting around. But be very careful though, the water and mud coming from these underground geysers are sizzling hot. But you can experience the Maori culture firsthand by visiting the exhibition. You'll encounter a traditional show plus a crash course in preparing traditional Maori delicacies from the underground heat. Number 10. Lake Wanaka. Another ethereal landscape in the Southern Alps. Lake Wanaka is famous for its crystalline waters, its alpine views and the unique slanted willow tree, which is submerged in the south end of the lake. The mountains, the lakeside setting and its proximity to Mount Aspiring National Park, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Area all make it the ultimate base for outdoor activities. The summers are hot and dry, which is perfect for water sports. The winters are cool and crisp, with four diverse ski areas, offering great options for skiers and snowboarders. So if you are the outdoor adventurer, then this could be the perfect place for you to start your journey.
And there you have it folks, those were 10 beautiful places to visit in New Zealand. I am sure I could make about 50 videos on this country alone, especially with its wonderful landscape. Thanks for watching and for more videos on other destinations around the world, check out the playlist on the channel. As always, be good, be kind and be careful, peace.